Hi guys, good morning. I am Anangha Naik, Principal JITM College, and today I am going to teach about lens formula in this video. And I hope you all will understand this, and will all you all you all will have a good concept about the lens formula. Uh, generally, we do have two types of lenses. One is convex lens, and another is concave lens. So here in this video, today we will. Uh, learn lens formula for the convex lens producing real image and real image you know uh, a real image can be obtained by uh, obtained when only the after refraction or reflection the reflected ray or refracted ray will actually intersect so in that case your uh, real image will be obtained so lens formula basically involves it's a relation between object distance object distance u image distance v and the focal length focal length s so your lens formula is a relation which connects u v and f and the lens formula generally we got is 1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by 1 by v minus 1 by u So basically, we will use the concept of 10th class, which is your triangle similarity. So by using triangle similarity, only one concept, remember only one concept if you remember, then you can easily derive the lens formula, which is your triangle similarity. So here, we do have two pairs of uh, triangle, with the help of the two pairs of triangle, you can get the lens formula. So, First of all, here uh, I have already drawn the diagram for the lens formula. Here it is your convex lens, and this is an object AB, which is which, uh, which uh, you have to place just beyond the center of curvature. And from the object AB, here AB is an object, and from the object AB, you need to take at least two rays, which is one is parallel, that is your AM, and another through the center of curvature is through the optical center. So, parallel ray after refraction it generally goes through the focus and the ray which goes through the optical central it goes on deviate and when the, where they will intersect that is your point A dash and point A dash is the image of the point A and from the A dash you need to draw a perpendicular to the principal axis and which will give you the point B dash. Now, A dash B dash is the real image of the object A B. So, here C B is your object distance and it is minus u because it is we have uh, taken in the left hand side of the optical center and V it is image distance of the object sorry of the uh, image A dash B dash and F is the focal length. So, by using U V F we will try to get the lens formula. So, in the triangle or triangle A dash B dash C and the triangle A B C are similar. So, if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are same in ratio, which is your 10th class concept. So, their corresponding sides of the triangle ABC and triangle uh, A dash B dash C and triangle ABC, we will get as A dash B dash by AB equal to C B dash by C B, let it be equation 1. Then one more 
pairs of triangle which is your m c f and a dash b dash f so we'll see whether a dash b dash f and m c f whether they are similar or not and i think they are similar so triangle a dash b dash f and triangle m c f are similar and as they are similar their corresponding sides are same in ratio that means a dash b dash by m c equal to b dash f by c f now in place of m c your m c and a b they are equal this m c and a b are equal that's why i can replace m c by a b so this implies a dash b dash by a b equal to b dash f by c f let it be equation 2 now by comparing equation 1 and 2 by comparing equation 1 and 2 you you can see that their left hand sides are equal their left hand sides are equal that's why we can equalize them that means their right hand side must be equal so here right hand side of equation 1 is cb dash by cb and here b dash f by cf so they will be equal so now we can write from equation 1 and 2 c b dash by c b equal to b dash f by c f let it be equation 3. Now just simplify this c b dash by c b equal to b dash f b dash f we can write this b dash f can be written as c b dash minus c f this b dash f can be written as c b dash minus c f so in place of b dash f i will write c b dash minus c f by c f now let this be equation b3 let this be equation 3 now put the values put the values of uh, or by using sign convention by using sign convention that means cb dash in place of cb dash i will write v in place of cb i will write v minus u in place of cb dash again i will write uh, v and in place of cf i will write f so this equation can be rewritten by using sign convention which is your v by minus u equal to v minus f by f so now cross multiply this equation after cross multiplying you will get this v into f equal to minus u into v minus u v minus u v minus u into minus f plus u f you have to keep the u v on the see one thing you, you need to note that in case of lens formula or mirror formula you have to keep the u v on the left hand side and the other things on the right hand side so i will take this u v to the left hand side so it will becomes plus u v and this v f i will take to the right hand side so it becomes minus v f now dividing throughout by u v f now divide this equation by u v f dividing throughout by u v f we can get so dividing by u v by u v f i will get i 1 by f this dividing by u v f i will get 1 by v and dividing by uh, vf by uvf i will get 1 by u so 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u which is your lens formula and this can be derived for the 
convex lens producing virtual image and convex lens concave lens producing always virtual image. So, now let us come to the magnification point. What is magnification? Magnification means whether the image is enlarged or image is diminished. That means, if the, in, 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 if the image is being enlarged then we can say magnification is more than 1 and if the image is diminished we can say magnification is less than 1 or if the image size is equal to the object size then we can say there is magnification 1. So, magnification generally we used to take as m. So, m is defined as the ratio between size of the image to the size of the object that means i by o this is your magnification size of the image to the size of the object. So, ratio between image size to the object size is called as your magnification. So, magnification we will try to get it from this lens formula. So, from the equation from the triangle from the triangle similarity similarity that is a dash b dash by a b equal to c b dash by c b already we have got this uh, in equation 1 from equation 1. So, a dash b dash means image height I can write i and minus i I will write because it is situated on the below the pencil axis and a b is o and in place of c b dash I will write v and in place of c b I will write minus u. So, minus minus will get cancelled. So, i by o equal to v by u that means magnification that means magnification m equal to v by u. So, this is your magnification lens formula is 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u and magnification m equal to v by u. In case of mirror filler you can see or you, you will see mirror formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u and the magnification is m equal to minus v by u. And the magnification in terms of magnification in terms of v f magnification m in terms of v f m equal to f minus v by f you have to note it and m in terms of u f m equal to f by f plus u. So, these four formula you need to remember for this which is your lens formula, lens formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u, magnification m equal to v by u, magnification in terms of v f you can get it there is derivation you can get it m equal to f minus v by f and magnification in terms of u f is m equal to f by f plus u. So, thank you guys and hope you will understand this concept through my video. Thank you very much.